Hi! Welcome to the video description of the first experiment for Physics 101, which is entitled as the force table. The purpose of this experiment is to show the practical application of vector algebra with the help of a force table. Before we start, let me give you a brief information regarding the theory. Newton's second law states that the net force acting on an object is equal to mass times its acceleration, which implies that if we have equilibrium, this net force will be zero. To be able to evaluate the net force for our specific case, we shall check the setup. As you can see from the setup, you will be considering three forces acting on the knot, which connects three strings together. These forces are named as F1, F2, and F3. Your aim is to show that there is no net force acting on the knot, which means you have to show F1 plus F2 plus F3 gives zero. Now that you are provided with enough information about the background knowledge, you may watch the video regarding experimental procedure. As you can see from the setup, three pulley clamps and some masses will be used throughout this experiment. The masses are kept in a blue box as shown. Position of two pulleys must be fixed on 0 degrees and 90 degrees during the whole experiment. You are not supposed to change this position. You may start adding masses onto the hangers located at this fixed point. Now, you must record the associated mass values into your logbook as M1 and M2. Do not forget that these are in grams, which means that you have to change them into SI units throughout your calculation. The position of the third pulley is not fixed like the other two, so you need to adjust it by yourself. However, before doing that, Add some masses to the third hanger till the knot is situated at the center of the force table. At this point, your aim is to make sure that the string that is connected to the knot is not in contact with the force table anyhow. That will imply that the knot is at the center and your system is in equilibrium. Of course, this may take a while since you need to make sure that the equilibrium is achieved. So please take your time on this step. If the knot does not seem to be centered well enough, you may try to change the position of the third pulley clamp accordingly. While doing so, please make sure that it's between 180 and 270 degrees. Now you may record M3 into your logbook. You have to calculate the total mass situated on pulley number 3. Since you have managed to obtain all the mass values, you may now record theta 3, which is the angle associated with M3. Theta 3 can be found by subtracting 180 degrees from the numerical value that the third string is aligned with. You have reached 
the end of experimental procedure for experiment one.